Hey guys, welcome to Slash Rex Games. In our last tutorial, we created a bullet at the tip of a gun. No matter where it was in Emmy Jungle, we took that all into account and it worked perfectly. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating some sound and also a short gap in between each shot because we don't want it to shoot 30 times a second because that's crazy. So, first, we're going to add a sound. Sound, gunfire. That sounds good. Load rifle fire. Okay, let's test it out. It's got a normal sound. That should be fine. Next, object player. We're going to be using Boolean variables. So, can shoot equals true. That's going to be our Boolean variable. And when can shoot is true, and we global left click, we're going to want it to fire. Okay, so it'll only fire whenever ammo is greater than naught and can shoot equals true. Alright, so that's good. And then we're going to play our sound. Sound play. Sound gunfire. Okay, so we click. If we can, it's going to play the sound. It does everything from the last tutorial. Then it's going to set can shoot to false. We're going to be using alarms, and in a nutshell, an alarm is sort of like a counter. So we set call alarm naught, or whatever alarm you set it as, and we give it a time. So when it gets here, it'll jump from this script, or well, this code, it'll jump to alarm naught and do something. So here we set can shoot to false. And then it'll jump to alarm naught 10, countdown 10, and we're going to create alarm naught over here. And we're going to want it to set can shoot back to true. Okay. It's pretty simple. So in the beginning, it's set to true. When we shoot, and it's true, it does everything, sets it to false, calls the alarm note. Alarm note counts down and changes variable can shoot to true. And when it gets to naught, then we can shoot again. So this is the timer, the amount of time. You can change this to anything and just test it out and see what it's at and if you like it that's good otherwise change it also we're going to go to object bullets we're going to change something here we're going to go outside room if it's outside room we're going to want it to destroy itself the last thing you want is random objects flying outside the room you know using memory space okay so let's test this out See, there's a slight pause in between each shot, and we've got the sound, and everything is working perfectly. So that's pretty much it. In our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a HUD, which is a heads-on display. So it's going to display like our speed, if it's a car game, or our ammo, and our max ammo, and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and rate. Thank you.